Hello everybody. How's everybody today? Hope everybody's doing good. I got some news just about knocked me on my arse. I'm just telling you. I was watching YouTube there and uh, Rachel Maddow was on and she was talking about um, things that the GOP are doing. And apparently it's happening in 19 different states with 19 different attorneys general. Now this study, she did a story uh, a while back on Tennessee. And apparently, Vanderbilt University Medical Center notified families that the AG contacted them and Vanderbilt felt compelled to give them the family's medical records. That's right. Imagine. Felt compelled because the AG demanded them. And this, of course, isn't just everybody's. It's just women seeking abortions, reproductive care, and trans people's records. That's right. And they gave them to them, and the families didn't find out till months later. That's what's going on with those. Now, here's an updated version. How effed up is this? It looks like 19 state attorneys general signed on to a letter to Joe Biden and his administration saying they want access to women's and trans people's medical records that leave their home states to get medical care in states that allow it. Because Biden is passing a law that's saying that these other states aren't allowed to give up medical docs. Like New York has passed a, sta uh, a statute saying that no, if you come here for treatment, your medical records are safe here. We are not allowed to give them out. Isn't that a HIPAA violation or something? Mm, just thinking. But anyway, yeah, they're now following people out of their states to make sure they know where they obtained care and confiscate those medical records from those facilities. So, welcome to the MAGA fascist Stasi because that's what they did in Eastern Germany. That's right. Followed people around, coerced family and friends. Now they didn't arrest everybody, but they put the word out enough that everybody was scared shitless. And that's what the GOP are doing. Hopefully trying to get their way. That's what they're thinking. So it's not if or when, it's happening now. now in the Tennessean, the Tennessee uh, AG, Jonathan Scaramani, wants the state to be able to investigate and compel information on out-of-state abortions. He's already seizing the private medical records of trans people. Now they won't have records of. Uh, now they won't have records of any Tennessee. They'll have records of any Tennessean woman who has had an abortion in another state. He will then follow you to see if you got an abortion. So what? So he can file charges on you for looking after your own reproductive health? Then the Kentucky AG Cameron wants Kentuckians uh, out-of-state abortion records to be made available to their authorities. I say Stasi. I'm not saying it lightly. Um, Arkansas Times says Arkansas AG Tim Griffin wants to know about your out-of-state uh, abortions and reproductive care, and you know trans care is in there. Ooh, Jesus. But he needs some car care, I think. Um, Alive Magazine, uh, Georgia Attorney General Christopher Carr pushes back on Biden's rule protecting out-of-state abortions. Mississippi Today, AG Lynn Flynn uh, wants to make information on out-of-state um, abortions available to authorities. They have no abortion care in the state, and when you leave to get it, they will follow you and claim their right to seize your private medical records from out-of-state practitioners, doctors, clinics, uh, uh, for abortion, fertility, in vitro, anything like that. So far, Ohio, Nebraska, as well as the other states, uh, Indiana, Alabama, Alaska, Louisiana, Missouri, Montana, Idaho, North and South Dakota, South Carolina, and Texas and Utah are all lining up to literally spy on your whereabouts, spy on your travel, 
who you talk to to see if you're seeking medical treatment for women seeking reproductive care and transgender affirming care of any kind, um, they are claiming the right to take your personal medical information and see where you got treatment anywhere in the United States that permits trans and women's reproductive services. Now, um, there was a Senate Bill 8 in Texas. Do you remember that? That was when um, Roe, v. Wade, uh, Roe v. Wade was overturned. SB 8 in Texas, which was the first to have this vigilante justice stuff done uh, for women seeking medical care, trans care, etc., charging, uh, trying, and jailing anyone who helps. Apparently, they don't want the woman uh, arrested, though. But so your neighbor, your pastor, a family member, how about a friend? They can collect up to $10,000 to inform on you, just like they did with the Stasi in East Germany. Also, KGB, pick a group, of your intentions. Um, and this is all funded by groups like the Heritage Society and Right to Life, uh, who are funding the politicians to do this. I'm sorry, but that is totally fucked up. How disgusting is that? You don't see them taking their medical records on how many STDs they had, do you? You think you're going to search through all that? Or anything like that? Rectile dysfunction? You're going to seize the medical records for that? I think they should. What's turnabout is fair play, right? But personally, how stupid is that? Personal medical records. Can't doctors be sued for giving over your personal information? It's like a lawyer, client, um, a lawyer client privilege. Doctors are supposed to have that privilege too. It's the HIPAA violation, isn't it? I'm just wondering. I just think that's the most screwed up thing I've ever heard of. But anyway, I've got some other stuff I want to talk about later. Naughty Nana loves you. Be good, be safe, take care of you. And please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up while you're listening. Naughty Nana loves you. Mwah. Be good to you first.